Today on our 2008 Toyota FJ Cruiser, we'll be installing the Toe-Ready T1 Vehicle Wiring Harness with 4-pole flat trailer connector, part number 118405. To begin with, we'll go ahead and open up the rear hatch on the FJ Cruiser. Next, we'll go ahead and locate the three hatch covers that we'll need to remove. There's two compartment covers that need to be removed on the driver's side, the light cover and the jack cover. Now on the passenger side, here's where the cover will be removed. Now that we have all the covers removed, now we'll go ahead and remove the threshold on the lower part of the rear door opening. There are five screws that hold this in place, as well as some tabs that you'll need to pull up once the screws are removed. Once you have the five screws removed, go ahead and pull up on the threshold and set it out of the way. Once this is done, you'll notice that there's one screw on each side that holds the rest of the trim in place You'll need to remove each of these screws in order to lift them up enough to fish the wire underneath. Next we'll go ahead and remove the connections on the back of the light assembly. There are two of them that'll need to be removed. You may want to use a long set of needle nose pliers to help remove the wire connectors from the back of the lights as they may be rather difficult considering how small they are and how tight an area it is to get into. Next we'll go ahead and fish the yellow and brown wire as well as the red and brown wire up into the area where the wiring harness comes to the driver's side light. Once we have both of the connectors removed from the back of the light assembly, we'll go ahead and add them in to the T connector that we just pulled up from under. You will notice that one of the wiring connectors has three plugs in it and the other one only has two. Make sure that you plug them into the proper connections. And then plug the other end of the T connector into the back of the light assembly. Next, we'll go ahead and fish the green wire over to the passenger side. To do this, you will lift up the interior panel and fish the green wire underneath it. You will then pull it over to the passenger side along the threshold area. Now on the passenger side, we went ahead and used a spare piece of airline tubing to help fish the wire and the connectors up to the rear of the light assembly. Once you have the wiring fished up to the rear of the lighting assembly, you need to remove the connection that is closest to the center of the vehicle, which is actually the blinker connection on the passenger side. Once you have done that, you'll go ahead and put the T connection in line, putting the end of the original wiring harness into one end of the T connection and plugging the other end into the back of the light assembly. Now that we've got that done, we'll go ahead and secure the green wire along the threshold. To do this, we use the body trim removal tool to lift up two of the grommets and to put the wire behind it to help secure it in place. We also went ahead and pulled any excess slack in the green wire back over to the driver's side. Next, we have our white wire with the ring terminal on it. I'm going to go ahead and attach that right here to the ground screw. Now to make things a little easier, go ahead and remove the jack at this time and we'll replace it when we're done. Now at this time we'll go ahead and move up to the front of the vehicle under the hood. Next you need to locate the battery on the vehicle, which on this vehicle is on the driver's side. To begin with, we'll take the fuse connection and have to cut the line in half. Once we do this, we'll need to strip both ends. On one end, we'll connect a ring terminal on it, and on the other end, we'll use a butt connector to connect it to the wire that'll be run to the back of the vehicle. After you make the connections, go ahead and use a little electrical tape and wrap the connections. Now we're going to go ahead and connect to the battery here, but we're not going to put the fuse in at this time. Once we've connected to the positive side of the battery, we'll go ahead and use a few zip ties to secure the wiring. Once we've got the zip ties in place, we'll go ahead and trim them. We'll also go ahead and fish the excess wiring down along the firewall to under the vehicle where we'll later secure it as we run it back to the back of the vehicle. And now we're ready to go under the vehicle and feed our wire to the back. Now in this case, we decided to go ahead and run the wire through the channel on the frame. To do this, we used spare airline tubing that we had. 
Just make sure that as you route it to the rear that you keep it away from any moving parts, pinch points, or areas that may become hot. Now that we've got our wire pulled back to the rear of the vehicle, we'll go ahead and locate the wiring harness grommet that goes through the body. Now, we used the tool from the top side to poke a small hole through the grommet where we could feed the wire back through to make our connection to the power module. And then secure it with zip ties to keep it secure. You will connect, in this case, the black wire with the red wire on the power module. We'll go ahead and strip the end of the wire and use a butt connector to make the connections. Once you've made the connection, go ahead and again add a little electrical tape around it to protect it. Now that we've made our connection on the power wire, we'll go ahead and find an area to secure the power box. To do this, we'll clean an area of the body panel and go ahead and peel the back off the adhesive and stick the box to the side. Once you've connected the box with the adhesive, you can go ahead and put the jack back in place. Now that we have all our connections made, we need to go ahead and put the rear interior back together. Now we need to go back up front and install our fuse and our fuse holder. The fuse used in this application is a 10 amp fuse. Once the fuse is in place, make sure you close the cover on it and now we're ready to test the four pole flat. To do this, we will use our test light, connecting it to the white wire for the ground. Now go ahead and have someone run through the light functions. First is the running lights, then the left turn signal, then the right turn signal, followed by the brakes. Now you'll also notice on this application, the four-way flat will be stored in the jack compartment area when not in use, and when you are gonna use it, it'll pull out and it'll be closed by the rear hatch, but the rubber molding around the rear hatch will not damage the wire. Now when you're not towing with your vehicle, you can go ahead and fold the wire up and store it in the jack compartment area. And that'll complete the installation of our Tow Ready T1 vehicle wiring harness with four pole flat trailer connector, part number 118405 on our 2008 Toyota FJ Cruiser.